Hello everyone, Dr. Carlo Oger with Dr. ER. TV. And if you're watching this video, you're actually watching EDX Video Pro, which is the channel where most specifically for the healthcare enthusiasts, where we discuss EKGs and cases, and it's all high yield educational content. Hey, this is a picture of me and my family on Easter Sunday. Uh, look at that gorgeous family. Uh, my oldest daughter on the left, my middle daughter, my son, and my little one, and my wife, David. Anyway, uh, today's Friday and it's EKG day. So we're gonna do an easy one. This patient presented with chest pain to the emergency department. And the first EKG uh, has a, uh, looks pretty sinus. That means it's regular. You can see that each beats, um, each QRS is at equal length. Each, each QRS has a P wave. So it's sinus rhythm. Um, I don't see any ST elevations. I don't see any major depressions. Um, it's pretty much a normal EKG. But this patient had a pretty significant story consistent with um, cardiac pain, pressure and tightness, and some sweatiness, has some cardiac risk factors like diabetes and hypertension, high cholesterolemia, kept having persistent chest pain. So a second EKG was done while he was in the emergency department. And here is that EKG. Bam, kaboom, very different EKG, right? You would guess this is a whole different patient. What are we seeing here? Well, it's still sinus, but it's a little bit slower than it was before. And you see what we call the tombstones because they're squared off QRS compass, call them tombstones. And you can see those in the inferior leads, two, three, um, AVF. Uh, you can see inferior SC segment elevations in all three lower leads. And uh, you can see what are called reciprocal changes. You can see ST depressions on the lateral leads. Depressions here and here. You can see them on AVL. Uh, you can even see a little depression over here. So this is a very large inferior ST segment elevation MI with uh, reciprocal changes in one AVL and the lateral leads V2 through V5. Uh, so this patient has a STEMI, ST segment elevation MI. But what's important, what we really need to hone in is that if the patient presents with a classic story of cardiac symptoms, even if the EKG is normal, you should really be suspicious and still get them admitted to a hospital and worked up. And if they're still having active chest pain while in the emergency department, then do a second EKG. You can see between this EKG and the second EKG, there was a huge, I mean, humongous change in the EKG. So this patient ended up being from a simple admission for cardiac rule out to a cath lab kind of patient where we bring him in to get the arteries um, opened up and everything. So that's it for today. The lesson is, of course, you know, recognizing a STEMI and recognizing reciprocal changes, which are the opposite changes instead of elevation depressions and stuff like that. But most importantly, the main lesson is if the patient has the right story, a normal EKG does not rule out acute coronary syndrome. Not only that, but you gotta keep the people around and recheck uh, that EKG if they're having persistent pain. Hey, I hope you learned in this educational EKG today. We did STEMI progression. I will see you in our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please share the video with someone you know. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.